Hey friends, Rob here giving a response and a review. Joe Castillo, that absolute incredible sand art. This guy is a sculptor of sand. I mean, if you think that's absolutely incredible, certainly one of the best acts when America's Got Talent this year. If you agree with me and believe he does have a shot to win, I'm not sure if he's going to, but he, if you believe he's got a shot, certainly the top five or ten of all of them. Hit the like button, give me your comments, and it just goes to show you, friends, <clears throat> only God can give certain talent as in the ability of being an artist or art to an individual. You have got to have the gift, period. I can barely draw a stick figure, to be honest with you. That's how bad I am. And came on here to give a response and review because, you know, God doesn't trust and give certain people talents. Now, how do I go from Joe Castillo, sand art, to God giving people talents and gifts and the ability and the potential to not only become great, but to become the best they can be. Well, I'm a minister of the gospel, friends. If you desire to subscribe to my ministry channel by YouTube, hit the subscribe button right now. Also under the search, Rob Wood One. Many other Christian preaching, teaching, ministry videos via YouTube where I do talk about the topic of Christianity, the Bible, heaven, hell, angels, demons, etc. But getting back to Joe Castillo, my friends, God's got to give you the gift right off the get-go. You have to have the gift and the talent. And God entrusts and gives different people different abilities and talents. Uh, some people are great vocalists. Some people are great in just math. You know, just imagine, you know, sometimes you, you just can't even, you're not good in math, but some other people are great. Some people are great athletes. Some people are good business people. Whatever the gift God has for you, don't try and be the best just try and be the best you can be. And the reality is, is the first plan and will that God has for you is he desires to be in the center of your life. Because in the Bible, in the book of John, 3rd chapter, 16th verse, For God so loved the world, that's me, that's you, that. He gave his only son that if you would believe in Jesus, you'd not perish, you'd have everlasting life. And the Lord desires nobody to perish under the sound of my voice. He desires everybody to have everlasting life and the only way you can have the assurance and insurance that you can have that when you take your last breath is by having Christ in your heart. Remember, Jesus comes by invitation only. He'll never blow the door down in your heart. God will make you serve him. God gave you a free will. He didn't create robots. So you can accept him due to obedience. You can reject him due to disobedience. But if you've never accepted Christ in your heart, say this simple prayer with me. Say, Jesus, Thank you for dying on the cross of my sins. Thank you for being my Lord and Savior. If you prayed that prayer, God bless you. Heaven applauds you. Angels are throwing a party. Hey, if you believe again that Joe Castillo has his shot to win this year, he's at least in the top echelon of the different groups, or he should go on to the finals or semifinals, hit the like button. Give me your comments. Again, if you desire to subscribe to my ministry channel via YouTube, hit the subscribe button right now. Also under the search, Rob Wood One. Many other Christian preaching, teaching, ministry videos via YouTube. You can check them out. The Lord loves your friends. God's got a mighty plan for your life. Trust in Jesus. You'll never be disappointed. God bless you. Amen.